Hello everyone, it's Kevin. And today I'm excited to show you how you can stake your Glimmer on Moonbeam. To get started, head to apps.moonbeam.network slash moonbeam. Then press connect wallet in the upper right hand corner and you'll be prompted to select a network and a wallet. So in this case, I'll choose Moonbeam and I'll choose MetaMask. And then go ahead and connect the account that you'd like to stake with. Press next, press connect. You may be prompted to switch networks in your wallet if your wallet is set to a different network. Now, we don't have anything staked just yet, but if you return to this page after staking Glimmer, you'll see a summary of the latest staking rewards that you've received over the last seven days. You can also scroll down here on the homepage and see all of the different assets that you have in your wallet. So to get started staking, head to the staking overview page. You're free to stake anything that's in your free balance. If you have pending crowd loan rewards, then you're free to claim them and then you can stake them. It's not possible to stake crowd loan rewards that have not yet been delivered to your free balance. Go ahead and click on select collator. And the first tab that loads here is the active pool. These are collators who are actively earning staking rewards. The waiting pool contains collators who are not currently earning staking rewards. You can still delegate to a collator in the waiting pool, but you won't earn rewards until they join the active pool. If you wanna earn staking rewards right away, you'll wanna choose a collator that's in the active pool. There's a protocol-wide minimum bond amount that's set by governance, but a collator's minimum bond amount could be higher, and that's because there are a limited number of delegation slots available for each collator. Once a collator fills up its delegation slots, the minimum bond for that collator will increase. How should you choose a collator? Well, you should do your own research, and you should choose one that you trust to be a good steward of the network. If you don't know any collators, you can check out our collators channel in the Moonbeam Discord. Alternatively, you can pick any collator from the active pool for which you meet the minimum bond amount. It's important that your collator reliably produces blocks because if your chosen collator stops producing blocks, you won't earn rewards for the period they're offline. You can always unbond from your collator and switch to a different one, but that takes time and you won't earn rewards during the unbonding period. Staking rewards vary based on two main factors the number of blocks your chosen collator has produced, and the percentage of the collator's total backing stake that your delegation represents. Although delegating to a collator takes effect immediately, you won't earn rewards until two rounds have passed. For demonstration purposes, I'll choose a collator with a minimum bond amount of only 50 Glimmer. Go ahead and click on the collator you wish to delegate to, and then enter the amount. In this case, we'll choose 50. There are also buttons here, allowing you to easily choose the minimum and maximum delegation amounts possible. Below, you'll see a slider, and here you can choose the amount of rewards that you'd like auto-compounded. If you choose 0%, all of your rewards will be directed to your free balance, and none will be auto-compounded in staking. If you choose 100%, all of your rewards will be auto-compounded in staking, and none will be sent to your free balance. For this example, we'll choose 100% auto-compounding. When you're ready, go ahead and press delegate, and confirm the transaction in your wallet. And our delegation was confirmed. You're free to delegate to multiple collators as long as you meet the minimum delegation amount for each collator. You can also increase or decrease your delegation amount by using the plus or minus buttons. Let's demonstrate increasing our bond. To do so, click the plus sign, enter the amount that you'd like to increase your bond by. In this case, I'll choose one glimmer, press confirm, and confirm the transaction in your wallet. And you can see here that we have increased our delegation to 51 Glimmer. If you hover over this button, you'll see a message displaying your chosen auto compounding percentage. You can change this amount at any time by clicking on the button and adjusting the slider. Now let's demonstrate decreasing a delegation. Reducing or revoking a delegation is a two-step process involving initiation and execution. You can initiate a request to reduce a delegation by clicking on the minus sign. Enter the amount that you'd like to reduce your delegation by. In this case, we'll reduce it by one glimmer. Be careful not to reduce your bond below your collator's minimum bond amount. Press confirm, and then confirm the transaction in your wallet. Once the request is in progress, you can't make changes to it, but you can cancel it with the X button if you'd like and start over. After the waiting period has passed, you can return to apps.moonbeam.network to execute, meaning finalize the request, at which point your unbonded tokens will be returned to your free balance. You can see a time estimate of when the request will be executable. Unbonding periods are measured in blocks and block production speed can vary, so the times displayed are only estimates. Once the request is eligible to be executed, you can execute it by pressing the check mark and confirming the transaction in your wallet. 
To revoke your delegation entirely, don't use the minus button. Instead, use the revoke delegation button. Just like reducing a delegation, revoking a delegation is a two-step process, so you'll need to return at a later point to execute this request. For more information about staking, including all of the parameters, like the unbonding period for each network, be sure to check out the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.